Alright guys, welcome back to another loadout building video and today we're going to put a little bit of a twist on things because I'm going to be covering a loadout that some people may have considered in the past but never bit the bullet on. So I'm going to break down what you can do here and why it is actually worth considering. But before we get into it, I'm going to tell you about today's giveaway which is going to be for an AK-47 skin and it's going to be for a Nightwish that I recently unboxed. It is 0.2 year float, it is field tested. All you have to do to enter this is make sure you hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and then leave a comment down below. We'll pick the winner in a few days' time on stream, and it'll also be announced in Discord in case you missed the stream. Good luck to those entering, and let's get into what I think here is a fantastic loadout. If you want the best place to buy and sell your CS2 skins, then look no further than today's sponsor, Skinport. Skinport offers users a fast, smooth, easy, and secure experience for buying and selling Counter-Strike skins, with the benefit of items being much cheaper compared to buying on the Steam community market. This is the way. This is the way. There are no buying fees. Selling fees range between 2 to 12%, and there's over 1 million skins available on Skinport at any time. With a great trust pilot rating, it's the perfect place to start building your loadout, whether you're going for budget gems or picking up some insane skins. They are also the reason we can keep running giveaways to give back to you guys. So make sure you check out Skinport using the links in the description or pinned comment. And let's get back to the video. Now, this loadout is going to have an optional knife and glove combo at the end, but I'm just going to go through the weapon skins themselves first, and we're going to kick it off with the Glock 18 Umbro Rabbit, and it's in Battle Scarred, which is 23 cent. Now, this may give away what the theme of this loadout is going to be. This is a fully Battle Scarred loadout to showcase you can get skins that still look good, they'll be cheaper because of the Battle Scarred, and you can get a full, complete, really nice loadout for a pretty good price. And you could kind of cheat code this by going for skins that are mostly brightness, like the likes of the Jawbreaker here. This is my USP pick. This is $5. But not all of them are going to be brightness skins. The likes of the Umbra Rabbit just has a low amount of wear, or lower compared to some other skins, and still looks pretty good. Now, if you're a P2000 enjoyer, I'm going to recommend the Wicked Sick. You can see here, even a Battle Scar, this keeps most of its color, and it's under a dollar. I am going to utilize a brightness skin when it comes to the Desert Eagle. The code red is like, I think it's $11.65. Now, all these prices are from the 31st of May, so allow for some variance for when it's uploaded. But they should stay pretty consistent, and this looks incredibly good, honestly, for a Battle Scar Deagle. This is one of the best Deagle skins in the game. Now, a skin I don't think we talk about enough on the channel. It's super underappreciated. It is the Aquamarine Revenge. Now, it's not in all its glory here in Battle Scar, but... This is a $12 AK-47 that has orange and this sort of like bluey, greeny, teal color on it. And you still keep the core of the design, but it's like the magazine and some of the artwork that gets wear, I wear and it's, um, it gets a bit less bright. But overall, for $12, when you're using it like this in-game, this actually still looks pretty damn good. Then, for the F31S, I actually didn't know how this looked in Battle Scarred until I planned this video. It's $3.33, and it's going to be the leather glass, but look at how it, it gets a very weird sort of wear pattern where like i don't know it, it's got like i'm trying to describe it because it's leather glass it's got lots of like little tiny like cracks and wears in it but like color wise i think this still looks pretty damn good then for the m4a4 there's actually probably like 10 different choices you could go for here they're all under 10 dollars i've landed on the m4a4 the coalition because i actually really like this skin and you can see here it loses a bit of its brightness and its shine but it still keeps a lot of the gold. It's got this black background and it keeps some of the blue accents. So overall, you still get a lot of the key features of the skin. It just loses a bit, a bit of the artwork near the back and the shine. Now, one that I do really like in Battle Scarred is the Hyper Beast because it wears away a lot of the key artwork. You still get some of the scope, but you still see the beast here. This is like a 0.65 float. This will cost you just under $15 in Battle Scarred and it is... I think this has a lot of value for money, honestly. You're getting a very popular artwork skin that still looks really cool. Something on the scope here, cheap sticker-wise, and you're set. Now, that's the main seven or eight skins. We'll go through the fillers, and then we'll cover the knife and glove that I'm going to suggest. Now, I'm going to have an MP9 Hydra here. Again, this one's been picked because, you see, it keeps most of the key coloring of green here, which is really nice. And because the other accents are black already, it actually works out quite nicely, and it's under $3. Then for the MAC-10, I'm going to have the Allure because this is, I mean, even a minimal wear, this is like 50 cent. It's 22 cent in Battle Scarred. You're not saving a crazy amount, but I mean, if you want to save 30 cent, this is great for the price you're paying. Now, we discovered with a P250 the other week that if you get it in Battle Scarred, it actually creates black accents. So this is the Muir Cross. Now, this in minimal wear looks really good. In Battle Scarred, still looks really good because you see that little accent of black on the front there when you inspect it? That's normally red, but when you get to Battle Scarred, it goes black. So you get a red and black contrast. It still looks great for under $4. Now, 
Now, you guys should know I'm a big fan of the Mummy's Raw, and this is it in Battlescar, believe it or not. It still looks really good. I have one in Factory New, and outside of the, the, the sort of green eyes of the Viper, the snake at the back, sort of getting a little bit of wear on it, this looks very close. For context, this is my one here. So you see the back in fact you knew it looks cleaner, but the actual like rest of it when you're inspecting it, it's, it's so similar. But like, I'm gonna go for brightness skin here for the Famis, because as I'd expect run for 66 cent is just such a good pickup. I do prefer this personally in like field test or min wear, but to keep the key colors and it not look like absolute shit. Like most famouses even wear purdy and fat genuity. So this is a really nice option. Then I'm going to go for the stone cold for the gale. And another reason for this one is because the wear goes black and it's already a blue and black skin. I think it works quite good. This one's 81 cent. Now this would normally get a good bit of shine on it. You are definitely losing that when you go to battle scarred. But overall, I still think this looks pretty good. Now, this one we have used in the past when building loadouts is going to be a Battle Scarred Angry Mob 5.7. This is just under $2, but one thing we've always liked about this is even in Battle Scarred, it still keeps a lot of the artwork, which means if you are using it normally, like I'll get to it now, like this still has a lot of color on it for a 5.7 that's under $2. Now, this one is a, a little creepy, I must say. This is the Melodrama Gilbretas. These are... Battle Scarred, still look pretty good. It's the eyes on the melons that seem to change as in get worn away when it goes Battle Scarred. And it, it, it's just a little, it's a little creepy, but it's 73 cent. It fits in, does the job. Then another one that I think looks pretty good still with wear is going to be the SG Tiger Moth. Now this one has featured a lot more recently. So much so that after I started featuring it, I shifted to an orange loadout and I ended up getting one myself. But this is 39 cent for Battle Scar. You can see how much of the orange is still there. You get all the colors. The scope design is still there. This looks pretty damn good for a Battle Scar skin. Then over on the AUG side of things, I'm going to go for the Fleet Block. Now, this is $1.41. And you can see, like, compared to the Factory New, it's nowhere near as bright. But it still keeps a lot of the artwork. It still actually has some bright colors. Now, when you're using it like this, it is just kind of like this really washed, like, creamy white sort of color of gray. Uh, but when you inspect it, you can see the birds still have, like, a lot of the nice color on them. Now, an XM from the Kilowatt Collection is the Irizumi. I actually love this skin. I use this in my gold loadout. It's not really gold, but it's kind of within that color palette. I quite like the design on it. I know it's not bright and flashy, but 4 cent for this in Battle Scarred is pretty sweet. And then for the MP7, I opted to go for a skin that's already worn already. Even if you get this in its best condition, which I'm pretty sure is minimal wear, it still have scratches over it. So you're going to pay 8 cent for a Battle Scarred Mischief here. Fits the bill because it's already worn. And then all these times of me suggestion, minimum wear, and fat doing your best scouts, we finally have a Battle Scarred one, and you guys can see the color difference it gets compared to the usual blue. Obviously, it's also pattern based, so the pattern can impact this, but this is 9 cent for Battle Scarred. And it's whenever I do loadouts like this that I'm like, damn, do I really need to have the expensive loadout I do have? We covered that a couple days ago. I showed you guys my new loadout, but this weapon skin cost is $69.80. You're getting some top tier skins here. Like, I'm looking Jawbreaker, Aquamarine Revenge, Coalition, Hyper Beasts. You're getting some really nice stuff in here for this $70 mark. And then, if you did want to go for a knife and glove combo, I theory this one, not tested it in game, so let's see. Now, one thing is, Battle Scar gloves are always going to look a little iffy, especially when they're specialist gloves. And you can see the wear the inside of these gloves have already. But this is it with the knife. <laughs> so I actually think when you're looking at the knife, it's not too bad within the reason of it's being Battle Scarred, right? The gloves are special gloves, Crimson Web. In Battle Scarred, they cost about $140. And then the knife is a classic knife, Crimson Web, which because I actually like the classic knife, because how it gets like a cake effect is what I like to call it, uh, in Battle Scarred, it actually looks pretty good for the $218 mark, which means this combo is... $355, making the total cost $425. Now, I am very much aware that these gloves on the inside don't look great. And if you're using an AK, for example, you might not like how awful that thumb looks. But when it comes to picking a Battle Scarred combo, rather than going for constrictors or like some cheap hand wraps, I was like, you know what? Let's go for a top tier of gloves, which I, I think it's fair to say. Specialist gloves, Crimson Web are a higher tier of gloves. Get them in Battle Scarred. Deal with the fact they've got a bit of wear and just get a knife to go with it. And because the whole loadout is battle scarred, it kind of pairs together quite well. And that means, I think overall, a full battle scarred loadout, you've got something pretty cool here. There are an absolute mix of knife and glove combos you can go for. Like blue steel knives in battle scarred, I think still look good. Black laminates look good in battle scarred. Um, you do have rust coats if you do want to go down the constructor path. There's so much you could do.
Now, before we remind you guys of the giveaway and wrap things up, I want to say a big thank you to the YouTube members that are supporting the channel. That is AJ, Tom, Twin Daddy, and Itachi. Your guys' support is greatly appreciated. Thank you very much. If you want to join them in supporting the channel, check out the join our member button you'll see down below, and you'll get some perks like all the extra emojis and notes and chat on the live stream, and you get priority for inventory reviews. Now, as I say, giveaway for today is going to be this AK-47 Nightwish. It is in field test. So all you have to do to enter this is make sure you hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and leave a comment down below of your favorite skin from today's video, or give me an alternative knife and glove combo that you think could also work really well with this. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one. Good. Bye.